Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here, getting ready for the summer, and I'm about to review its six primetime special for the Peanuts that came out on September 27, 1969, called It Was a Short Summer, Charlie Brown. It's a story about Charlie Brown and Linus had to do an assignment for school on what they did during the summer, in which Lucy had signed them up for summer camp. It stars Peter Robbins as Charlie Brown, Pamela Ferdinand as Lucy Van Pelt, Glenn Gilger as Linus Van Pelt, Hilary Momberger as Sally Brown, Anne Altery as Frida and Violet Gray, David Carey as Shermie, Christopher DeFaro as Pepper and Patty, Gail DeFaro as Pip Pan, Sally Dreyer as Clara, Shirley, and Sophie. Matthew Lifton as Roy. Lisa DeFara as Patty. John Dushback as Schroeder. And Bill Melendez as Snoopy. It's created by Charles M. Schultz. And it's directed by Bill Melendez. The special begins at Burt Ward's school where Miss Obmar had caught Charlie Brown and Linus playing Hayman in class and was assigning them for a 500 page, 500 words essay on what they did last summer. So school was out during the summer and Charlie Brown, Linus, Pickpan, and Schroeder were planning on spending their time reading every single comic book watching TV, playing baseball, and playing classical music. However, Lucy had told them that they just signed them up for summer camp, with the girls eager to go, but the boys themselves hate the idea, which Charlie Brown thought that, that they felt like they were completely drafted. So the next day, the boys had gotten ready, along with Snoopy, as they shove each other in order for them to get inside the bus while the girls are lining up in order. So, meanwhile, at summer camp, Charlie Brown is chosen for the captain for the boys' camp, while Lucy has chosen captain for the girls' camp. So the boys and girls had a swim waist, which the girls won very easily. They had a softball game and that didn't work out. And then other competitions just continued to go on and on and on. And afterwards the boys started feeling very miserable while having a campfire. The girls just you know just sang a campfire song along with them. So then Charlie Brown and Shermie decided that since they can't stand losing not to mention, you know, they're having hard times eating some really bad food at the cafeteria. They spotted Snoopy arm wrestling with the boys, so they thought they would get a chance to sign up for an arm wrestling championship with the girls. Which Snoopy, once up becoming the mass marble, had joined in as their championship. So Snoopy has to go into training. You know, eating the camp's awful food, doing exercise, and drinking some nutritious and noxious concoction, which is basically just plain water, but it just tastes awful. So in the contest, Snoopy goes against Lucy as they arm wrestling, which I know they started becoming more sweaty as you can see their faces and then Snoopy suddenly kisses Lucy pins her hand and and Lucy found out that that, that was a foul so she's the real winner of of the arm wrestling championship so yeah the boys have lost and by the time they came back to school just returning their assignments, Linus gets an A, while Charlie Brown gets a C minus. Which Linus says, 
Oh well, it was a short summer, Charlie Brown. And Charlie Brown says, and it looks like it's going to be a long winter. Yeah. Well, seeing that this is the first special where Charlie Brown and his gang have went to summer camp, it's basically the battle of the sexes between the boys and the girls. So there you go. <laughs> However, I did love the moments, you know, with Snoopy as the mass marble, because you know he was going to go after <laughs> Lucy. And there you go. <laughs> I love all the funny moments was when Charlie Brown was paddling along with Snoopy in a canoe, and they only made it up to the dock. And then the next one was when you know, Linus was just about to get some more fire logs, and Shermie had, which apparently, you know, they had done this uh, later on in a Charlie Brown Snoopy show, which uh, Lucy had did the same thing to um, Linus, was when he told him that, hey, there's a spider on that log. <laughs> and, and he screams, and he says, oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's just some dirt. And then he does the same thing again. And he says, hey, I was right. There's another spider in that log. <laughs> and he just screams again. <laughs> some moments right there were, where Linus, um, <laughs> as he saved uh, Violet from a bee, and he, just, and he just uses his blanket and just snaps it. And he says, unlike Robin Hood. <laughs> and there's scenes where the boys just keep shoving while they're trying to go inside both the bus and the, the cafeteria. And also at the beginning, where Sally didn't want to go to kindergarten. So, unfortunately, when, when Charlie Brown had asked Lucy about Sally where every time they ask her the word kindergarten that he bet that he'll fly pretty free up in the air but <laughs> but then when Lucy says kindergarten to Sally she only jumped up 10 feet <laughs> oh that was funny or even the moments when Snoopy was riding on the bus, he was imagining himself as a bus driver, just driving around, just basically having his adventure of a lifetime. Not to mention, this was the last special which Peter Robbins does the voice of Charlie Brown, because after that, he went on to do the film A Boy Named Charlie Brown. Also, Peter Robbins and Sally Dreyer were the original cast members from the Charlie Brown Christmas special. So unfortunately they were coming up with new voice actors to follow it up. So this is the first time they ever did that. But either way, it's a fun special. Even though it was hard on, on the boys, you know, feeling very miserable. And it seems, cause it seems like the girls are just having more fun and just doing exactly what they want during the summer and it just seems like it wasn't a perfect summer for Charlie Brown since he only got a C- minus on this report could have been a lot better than they fought but <laughs> what can you do <laughs> well, anyway check out the special it's fun but if but I have a recommendation when it comes to summer camp is check out Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, when you get to see both the boys and the girls uh, competing with each other, along with the bullies. And then you'll see for yourself. <laughs> so anyway, that's it was a short summer, Charlie Brown, and I give that special four stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.